Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I'm here with what may be the final episode of the Going Gray series. I've had a couple of questions, so I do want to address those first. Um, basically, uh, somebody asked me how long did it take me to grow my hair out. It, you know, it depends for you on how long your hair is. See, um, it took me about two years of growing my hair out to reach the point where I was able to cut all the color off. And that leads me to the next thing. <laughs> A lot of people have been very nice, I want to say that first, very nice in your comments on my video where I had my hair cut super short. So there are some super nice people out there and I appreciate very much the kind comments that people have made. However, there are some people who just feel like it's okay to be super critical um, when, I guess, uh, you know, you can be as critical as you want, but I would like people to keep it to themselves. <laughs> Uh, my issue here, what is this? I have like little tiny lipsticks and stuff I forgot I even had. But anyway, I don't need a new hairdresser. Um, comments I've gotten that are not very nice are, you need a new hairdresser, your hair looks awful colored, um, you look sallow with the hair color, um, but for the most part, most people have been like, you have to do what makes you happy. And that's what I've done. I've done what makes me happy. That video in particular, people picked on my hairdresser a lot and continue to do so. She is the only hairdresser that I've had so far who can handle my crazy, wiry, um, semi curly, wavy hair and make it look decent. Her job that day was to cut all the color off and she shaped it and my haircut was a beautiful haircut. It just wasn't for me because I like to have my hair right about shoulder length or slightly longer. But I was impatient to get all that color cut off. So what I have now, I still have all this white hair, is I have a small amount of low lights. I mean, tiny amount of low lights and they were put in uh, about six months ago. So for the most part, most of them are grown out. Um, you can see my hair color is still quite white. But um, I'm very happy with this because what she does is she takes a couple of foils, I mean a couple, and distributes a couple of them in my hair and puts a low light in, which is uh, slightly darker than white hair. Last time she used blonde, I my white has grown out quite a bit. I am happy with my hair. I am happy with my color. My hair is super soft. Oh, and a good one for you to use that's cruelty free is Paul Mitchell. Um, there are a lot of really good hair uh, shampoos and conditioners out there, but I've been using Paul Mitchell Color Care and it's it's just making my hair so soft um so i just wanted to update you guys let you know i am very happy with my hair color or lack thereof i've had people say wow your hair got really gray um in person and yeah um people that i've seen at the hospital that where i used to work they they saw me and they were like, you look exactly the same, except your hair is white. <laughs> so this is not optimal lighting for showing my hair color, but it is mostly white and, and or gray. So, and I'm happy with it. It's soft, it's manageable, it's, it makes me happy. So I hope this ties up some loose ends on the you need a new hairdresser front and all that. I hope that you guys understand me coming on here to do this video. I just really would like my hairdresser left alone and I would like people to stop telling me I look sallow. 
I don't look the same in the camera as I do in real life. My skin is a little bit darker than when I was younger. Um, I'm a shade darker than my daughter. I wear light, um, quote unquote, light makeup. Um, medium is too dark for me. So I'm very happy with the way my hair looks. And I think I feel comfortable if I had to go on a job interview with this hair exactly like this. I thought about it quite a bit because if I had to go on an interview, I thought, would I color my hair so I don't look like older than all the other candidates for a job? And I was like, no, I wouldn't. I might get my low lights refreshed, but that's it. I This is my hair and this is me and it is what it is. This shirt is probably not doing any favors to my coloring appearance or my hair, but anyway, I hope this clears some things up. I've taped this a couple of times. This is part of my Vlogmas series also. Um, I may never publish it, but this would be published on December 9th. Today is the 8th and I already recorded one for the 8th, but this would be Vlogmas number 9 if I do publish it. I'm not sure I will. So, although I do need to let you guys add comments right up until like last week. Last week I was told I look sallow. Let me just like, I'll, I'll publish this because y'all need to know that I'm happy with the way my hair appears and I'm happy with my appearance and my little tiny sprinkling of low lights that just warm it all up a little bit. So you might say uh, your hair looks like crap still, but that's okay because I'm happy in my own skin. I did what I wanted to do. And the bottom line for those of you who are thinking about going gray, I heartily encourage that. Some people look awesome with their gray hair. Um, I feel like I look awesome with my gray, even though it's mostly right on top. Um, yeah, I have a really weird white pattern. It's like mostly right on top. But um, yeah, you don't know until you try. Um, one thing that will help you get through the going gray period is having a hairdresser who's willing to try highlighting you a little bit. Not highlighting white hair, but highlighting your base color a little bit to soften the transition from white to um, gray. If you watch my videos, uh, you'll see that I did have highlights done and that did help me get through all this um, eventually. And she was very careful to not like get deposit color anywhere on the white hair. Um, when that all grew out, it took about two years. Um, I can tell you now that the way your hair feels now, no matter what color you use, your hair is not going to feel great when you wash it. The best wash and the best conditioner on earth cannot make you soft. But having your hair natural makes you have soft, beautiful hair again. And um, if you reach that point like I did where you needed a little bit of something to warm it up because my skin tone, I would have had to have cool coloring in order for that white to work for me. But with my skin tone, I just didn't, and I didn't feel comfortable being that white on top. Um, you reach that point, then you have a couple of low lights and don't color your whole head think really hard because I know some people who went through all the work of growing their hair out only to turn around and color their whole head again. And then they're like, why did I do this? Once you've done that, it's there. So unless you shave your head, which is a drastic thing that some people do, um, you're not going to get back to your natural color until you grow it all out again, which is one of the reasons that I've been unwilling to fully color my hair because I don't want to go through that all again. And I just love how soft my hair is now that it's natural. Um, and the low lights, as little as they are, just a couple foils, are just enough to warm things up and not dry my hair out. So if you're thinking about going gray, 
I do encourage you to do so because your hair will feel, it'll thank you for it. Your hair will feel softer and healthier and uh, you won't have those chemicals up against your scalp seeping into your system. <laughs> um, I encourage you to do it. It's the, you only know if you try. I also tell you that you have to be ready to do it. You can't listen to anybody else. Like here, I'm advising you to do it, but you have to be ready to say goodbye to hair color for a while and let your hair grow out. And it's very hard. You have to get your hair cut frequently and some highlighting helps, but it's a hard period. And if you look back through my videos, you'll see my part get wider and wider and wider until I got highlights and then they just sort of blended in with each other um, while I was growing my hair out. So I do encourage you to do it. Don't listen to naysayers. If you feel like you look 10 years older and you want to color your hair, by all means, do it. You know, it's not going to hurt anybody. And if you need an extra like five years before you're really ready, then wait. So anyway, I hope this video is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, write them down below uh, and I'll answer them as well as I can. Um, it, it's not horrible <laughs> going gray. Uh, you do have to wear makeup a little bit more because when you look a little older and a little worn out, and I have sleep apnea, so it makes me tired all the time. So you do have to wear makeup a little bit more than you're typically used to, but that's okay. If, that, if that's what you want, then by all means, go for it. And if you do, leave me a message and I'll see if I can come um, cheer you on. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. You can see I still have white hair. <laughs> I have white hair mixed with my brown hair. This under here is my brown hair. See, this is, this is real. This is not color. Um, so it's mixed in with my light brown hair and a little bit of highlight, low light, whatever I keep wanting to call it highlight, a little couple of low lights kind of tied it all in together. So my light brown hair under here that looks dark brown is kind of blends in a little bit better. So. Um, she threw a couple of those on top and it made all the difference in the world. So I've been jabbering on for quite a while. This is the third time I'm making this video. Um, so I am going to let you guys go now. If you have questions, please leave them down below. And thank you very much for taking the time out of your day and watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Thanks and have a beautiful evening. Good night.